We got brand new Eric Church today, Hard on Fire. We're going to teach you how to play it on guitar. It is so much fun. Stick around. Here we go. We got the standard tune guitar today. We're going to capo up to the first fret. We're going to keep our capo up nice and close to that next fret. It eliminates fret buzz and bending strings out of tune. All right, Eric Church, Heart on Fire. Super, super duper fun song to play. Uh, it's a banger. <laughs> a lot of just up and down strokes and just, just banging away on the guitar. So. You're gonna, for the intro and the verse, basically you're gonna run this chord progression for about a minute into the song, and then there is a little bit of a transition, and I'll show you that when we get to it. But basically, for the intro and the verses, you're banging out D, C, and G, and it sounds like this. Now what I was doing when I was playing it, I'm just kind of doing the chords and adding little, adding little things in to keep it fun and interesting. You know, if you're not singing and you're just playing guitar and you want to have fun with this song, there's all sorts of little things you could throw in there just to add to the music and just, it really is just a lot of fun to play. Let me show you the next section. All right, so you're rocking along with those three chords into the chorus. And in the chorus section, he says that look on your face was filled with wild desire. When he says that, he does, there is a change in the song there where it goes to a B minor. It goes to a B minor, G, and A. And you will revisit this a handful of times throughout the song, and it's used a little bit in the solo section. So I'll run through the chord progression one time and then show you how the next part goes. So here we go. So it's B minor to G, A. All right, in the solo section. Um, when they get to the solo, they're going to roll back and forth with this B minor to A or G, sorry, B minor to G, and then it ends on an A. And let me just show you the progression on that. So you're gonna start on the B minor. To G. B minor. G. A. So from there, it goes to kind of like a breakdown part, and you can actually make it sound some, they got some effects going on that they're using, and you can almost make it sound similar just by picking through these chords down here way up by the saddle, up in the high range there. Something like that, just a variation of that. But if you listen to it, you'll hear what I'm talking about. A lot of this song you can just improvise on and do some different stuff because it's really just a big jam and rockin' song, almost like a rock and roll song. There it is. That song is so much fun to put the record on and play along to. I was just doing it to learn it. So <laughs> you can take my word from it on that one. And even for a beginner, it's not too bad of a song because really the, the picking pattern is pretty much just straight up and down and it's just chopping away all the way through. The only thing that might give you a little bit of problems is that B minor chord, but once you learn it, it's only used a handful of times in this song. So it's not... You can even play, I mean, you can play the first minute of the song with just G, C, and D, so, and there's several sections of that. So if you're somebody who's just learning, 
you can play sections of the song and then until you can catch up to speed where you can get that chord at least you got something to do when you're playing music and you're not doing boring drills or running scales or reading in boring books <laughs> i know at least for me that kind of stuff it really didn't do anything. I just wanted to play music, even if it was a simple song. So that's what I'm trying to do here for you guys. And if you got any other songs you want to try to learn or any other things you need me to explain, let me know down in the comments. And until the next time, I'll catch you down the road.